It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Won't you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood, a wonderful day for a neighbor. Could you be mine? Would you be mine? Hello, neighbor. How are you doing today? As you can see, we're just getting a little cozy and comfy right now because we're going to be learning how to do a bunch of different things together. As you can see, I love... Oh, what's that? Why, yes, neighbor. Those are limited edition ASMR Ryan socks. <laughs> but on a more serious note, I brought a couple of gifts. Gifts just for you. Shall we look at them together? Wonderful. First thing I have up on my list is this bag. Now, I always like to bring us treats and presents for us to explore together. And what's in here is very special to me. What's that? some bananas and of course two oranges now fruit is an incredibly important part of maintaining that happiness and energy to get through your day so today I'm gonna teach you how to peel an orange but that's not all an orange isn't the only thing you peel we also have some bananas. Now, with these, we're gonna get the potassium we need to maintain that stamina throughout the day. That, and they taste good now, don't they? <laughs> Next up, we're gonna learn how to stay warm when those cold, dark nights coming. This here is a piece of firewood. Now it's crinkly and crunchy, but most importantly, it's there to keep us warm. So today, I'll be teaching you how to make a fire as well. And that's not all. Before we go today, I'm going to teach you how to hex your enemies and curse them to an eternal life of damnation. The last thing we want, of course, is for them to do any harm in our lives or wish us any type of malice. So what we're gonna do is get ahead of that. And I brought the exact things we need. This here is a voodoo doll. Now this doll is going to help us be able to get inside that person's not only mind, but body. <laughs> this curse works in many different ways, but most importantly, a very painful one. <laughs> Isn't that right, Mr. Voodoo Doll? So, we have a couple of crystals, herbs, spices, and hexes to get going today. Why don't I meet you over in the kitchen, and we can start by peeling some fruit. I'll see you there, neighbor. <laughs> Won't you be mine? <laughs> Hello, neighbor. Welcome to my kitchen. As you can see, we've already prepared our island here with the necessary tools in order to peel and enjoy our fruit together. We have bananas and of course our oranges. Now, some people might be a little Harvard scholars in the comments and call these bad boys mandarins. They are mandarins, not oranges. I know. But it's all we have today, so we're going to be using them and preparing them in the proper way. So, what we have here is a cutting board. Now this cutting board is where I murder vegetables. But in this case, we're going to be slicing up some fruit. Some of my favorite fruit, that is. 
Okay, let's go ahead and start by showing you how to properly peel a mandarin. Now, a lot of people like to just dig in there with their claws and get it as messed up as possible. But I have a technique, a technique that's worked for me ever since I was a wee little laddie. So let's go ahead and start by peeling one small spot here in the middle, just like that. Good. Now we're going to continue that all the way around the mandarin. Mm-hmm. Just like that. And what's going to be left? A little orange mandarin skin string. Delicious. Go ahead and put that right there. And now your mandarin is going to be all ready to go in two easy steps. Peel the top and peel the bottom. Let's start with the top. Perfect. And the bottom. Just like that, your mandarin is ready to eat. Bon appetit, neighbor. Mm. Oh yeah, this is delicious. We're gonna save that one for later. Next up, we have the bananas. Now, discard all your remaining mandarin peels and we're going to move on to the banana. Each banana bundle comes with five bananas. Let's count together. One banana. Two bananas. Three bananas. Four bananas. And of course, five bananas. Now, we have to choose which banana is best for us in this situation. Now, as we all know, bananas contain a lot of potassium, which gives you a lot of stamina to get going. If I remember here, it's 4 p.m., which means we're gonna start winding down our day pretty soon. Might clean here, might do some work over there, play some video games, who knows. But we don't need that much energy. So let's go with the smaller banana. Nothing too big right now. What you're gonna wanna do is pinch the top of the banana. Some people like to peel it that way, but I kinda like to use the handle you got right here. It's as easy as gripping the banana, keeping a nice grip on there, and then Voila, it's as easy as that. And just pull that down along with this momentum. Start on this side as well. And your third side. And there you go. You have yourself a perfect banana in just three easy steps. Peel, peel, and you guessed it, peel. So. Would you like to take the first bite? <laughs> That's okay. More for me. Bon appetit. Mm. Mm -hmm. I can feel the potassium flowing through my veins. Now, we'll finish that later because there is another way you can prepare bananas. And that's the fun way, by using what we like to call in the business, a knife. Now, knives are not toys. Let me make that very clear. You should not just wave a knife around like it's nothing. You wanna make sure you're using the proper precaution when handling knives. Please do not try this at home. Of course. So for this test, we're going to be getting us a long banana. So 
Some people don't like to peel their bananas. They don't like to have to carry them around like that for too long. So we like to cut them into little pieces, strips, if you will. What you're going to want to do is place your banana on your murder board and just start chopping away like so. Remember, there is no right or wrong way about doing this. All that matters is that you had fun. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Banana. And this little guy right here, we can just use as a crush cup and take that last little banana out. Perfect. So, we're left with these very cool, portable, easy to use banana discs. Just like this one. And the best way to be able to eat a banana disc is to just pop that right out of its skin and you have on-the-go banana bits. And a fancy little piece of jewelry too. So, thank you for joining me on how to prepare fruit for a nice healthy meal. Next up, we're gonna go start a fire and show you exactly the steps you need to take to stay warm during the winter, but most importantly, stay safe while doing so. Come on, I'll meet you over by the fireplace. Hey there, neighbor. Welcome to my fireplace. All nice and cozy by the fire. One of my favorite places to be, really. Now, as you can see, we've already prepped the fireplace with a little bit of burnt pieces of wood that are extremely dry. Threw in a little pieces of cardboard in there too to really help it out. Now, the first step to making a great fire is grabbing yourself a nice piece of wood. Isn't that nice? So, in order to make sure that this wood burns as bright and as hot as it possibly can, we have to gas it up and make sure it knows that it's fire. <laughs> Give me a second. A, no cap B, but you be looking finer than a glass of wine. You would burn brighter than any star in the night sky. Heck, I would be honored to be your guy. <laughs> Next, you put it in there with its other wooden friends. Where does that live, hmm? You want to do your best to not give the piece of wood a concussion on its way into the fire. And now I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Mr. Rogers, how are we going to light that wood? With your flaming hot rhymes? <laughs> of course not. I came prepared. <sighs> With these matchsticks. These are going to help us get the fire going. Now. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to light a match and put it into the fire. Please, do not try this at home unless you're a professional like me. And we place the match in there like so. That's what we like to call in the business, a dud. 
and we'll just try one more time. I always like to tell my friends I feel like an action movie star doing this. Sometimes I like to just light the match and flick it on in there without even looking. <laughs> Dare I? So, we're going to try one more, and then we'll start to resort to a different way. One more for good luck. Just want to start lighting that corner there. Get that cardboard nice and hot. And as you can see, we've started a fire. Now, no matter the size of the fire, what matters is its heart and determination to keep on burning. You smell that? It smells like victory. Now, why don't you meet me over into my office? We can teach you how to cast a curse on all your enemies. We'll let that fire burn. Okay. Hi there, neighbor. Welcome to my office. Before we get started on any curses today, <laughs> we need to surround ourselves with love and positivity. As you can see, I brought out some really cozy pillows to help surround us in a circle of love and protection. I urge you to do the same while we do this very professional curse. So, let me show you some of the items I brought out here today in order to do today's little ritual. First up, we have this cleansing sage. This right here is going to be burned, put over you, put over me, and today's voodoo doll to cleanse all the negative spirits before we put more negative spirits in. Right here is my bag of tricks. What's in my bag of tricks? Maybe you'll never know. But since you're my friend, it's full of crystals each one containing a different trait and meaning. We're gonna reach into here, pick a random crystal, and whichever one we pull out, we're going to place on top of our voodoo doll, and it's going to inherit those traits and personalities, and give us an overall meaning of exactly what we're trying to accomplish today. Next up, we have, of course, our voodoo doll. It's in the um, appearance of a clown today because we're going to be placing this curse on people that wish us harm, don't like to see us succeed, want negative things to happen, and we don't want that, now do we? Of course not. Mr. Rogers is all about positivity and love. So, we also have a tarot deck that's going to help us create meaning exactly what we're going to be doing today. Along with the crystal, it's going to give us a broader look at exactly what is going on in the mind of our doll. Okay, I also brought you a gift. If you can't see already, I brought you two crystals before we do this. The first crystal is a love crystal. It's in the shape of a heart and I think it looks beautiful. So, if you don't mind, take that and hold it close, close to your heart. Next up, you're gonna need some protection during this entire process to make sure no evil spirits follow you home. This is a crystal mushroom. It takes less than one second to eat and it grants five shield. There's plenty out in the garden, out back too. 
So I would protect yourself and feel free to get some shield. But let's begin by pulling some cards from our deck here. Card number one is for you. It looks like you pulled the lovers. Keep an eye out for exactly who you're looking for out there because it looks like your soulmate or partner might just be around the corner. Keep your chin up and keep looking. That one's for you. This next one is for our doll here. The death card. That's not good at all. No. It contains a lot of negative energy. Something we are looking for, for this curse. I'm just gonna place that on there and make sure that this curse goes well. The next one is for me. The Fool. Hmm. I don't know exactly what this means. I'm probably gonna chalk it up to the idea that I have no idea what I'm doing right now. And this is all just for entertainment purposes and no one should take it seriously. I guess that makes me the fool. I'll keep that one close by. So, what we're gonna have to do next is choose our crystal. Let's get that one going. No peeking now. And it looks like we pulled out what looks to be a purpley derpily. Now, I'm gonna place this purpley derpily on here. And the good thing about this one is I believe it represents relaxation. It represents sleep, slow breathing patterns, and something to clear our minds during this process, something to match the energy that we're going for. Now, we're gonna solidify that energy by burning this sage here. We're not using matchstick, matchsticks anymore because I ran out. So we're just going to light this baby real quick and do a quick cleanse. I want you to repeat after me during this cleanse. Okay, I want to get that nice and smoky. Good. Now say what I say. I am enough. Good. I am proud of who I am. I will always, always put my best foot forward. Perfect. My turn. I will follow my dreams. I will continue to do what I can to make others happy. And most importantly, I will never forget to smile. Because the purpose of everything that's done on my end to entertain and bring happiness. Now for our clown friend here, their purpose is gonna be different in this situation. I want you to close your eyes and think in your mind exactly what you want to be put into this doll, okay? Whatever negative thoughts, whatever negative issues or anything you're dealing with in your life right now, I want you to think of it and put it all into this doll. Good, good. Okay. Perfect. How do you feel? Good. Everything that's negative in your life or isn't helping you is now put into this. 
everything that you have in your life that's negative or holding you back is now put into this. So you can drop all that, move forward, and find something positive to look at in your life and move toward. So, how about we say our goodbyes at the door? I'll see you there. <sighs> all right, neighbor. After a long, fun day of learning, it looks like here's the door and it's time for you to go. But before I see you again, I need some feedback. Feel free to comment down below what you want to learn next. And Mr. Rogers will be there with his next lesson. So stay safe out there and don't forget to smile. Would you look at that? It's raining. And you didn't bring an umbrella or a sweater. That's okay. I still need you to leave. So there's the door and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Where's my coffee?